This short video is about intermediate stand treatments in Minnesota woodlands and the 2011 Supercharge Your Woods Field Day series. Intermediate stand treatments are any treatments that occur between stand establishment and final harvest. These treatments are generally designed to improve the vigor and productivity of the stand, but they can also promote certain species for wildlife habitat or other reasons. Treatments can be customized to suit landowner objectives and the landowner's vision for the future of the stand. Why focus on intermediate stand treatments? Well, early stand treatments are easy to implement with simple equipment, yet can dramatically increase the growth of the best trees on the site. There's really no other way to grow big trees fast, particularly in cold climates like Minnesota. Treatments like commercial thinning can provide revenue at different times during the rotation, which may have income tax benefits as well as increasing the value of the final harvest. Yet they preserve many standing trees, often the best trees in the stand, which is particularly attractive to many family forest owners. The 2011 Supercharger Woods series featured three field days, all hosted by Minnesota tree farmers. On Bob and Ingrid Sonnenberg's property in New York Mills, we toured a number of relatively young stands, focusing on simple treatments to improve the growth, productivity, and species mix. A particular focus was a demonstration of a release treatment in a young mixed stand of white pine, red pine, and aspen. Using a brush saw, Quentin Legler of UPM Blandon cleared out competing vegetation around the white and red pines that the landowner wanted to favor. For wildlife and other reasons, he wanted to maintain a diverse stand, so many aspen trees were left. Only those directly competing with the future crop trees were removed. This type of early treatment is relatively easy to implement and can dramatically increase the growth of crop trees. Well, we do, um, you know, we, we go in after the fourth growing season, it's usually during the fifth growing season on the stuff we've planted and do this work so it's not quite as big. And uh, this year we're doing about 1,700 acres. And then we will do, if it was a pure aspen stand on a really productive site, we'll actually go in about age seven and do the same thing and space those aspen out because that aspen stand will be ready for harvest in about 25 or 30. We also visited a mixed red pine and white spruce stand where we discussed simple pruning techniques that increased visibility throughout the stand, reduced competition between red pine and white spruce, and helped to ensure that both red pine and white spruce continued to thrive in the mixed stand. This was a key objective of the landowner. The second field day in the Supercharger Woods series was in the Aitken area at Glen Elvacrog's tree farm. The focus here was on hardwoods and how to choose which trees to take and which to leave during, uh, while marking uh, hardwood thinnings. The tree selection exercise brought together loggers, landowners, and foresters to discuss the many trade-offs inherent in tree selection. Tree form, spacing, species, wildlife considerations, operational considerations for the logger, and many more factors. Take that well, we're going to take that one. Out. Well, this one has really good form, but it's it's competing with. I mean, yeah. it's you know crowding this tree. That's why we would take it for that yeah. for that purpose. It works the same as a pine thinning. We're going to make our money. In our world. stake is this, and a bone is that. Yeah. And as long as you realize that, and the landowner realizes that, then we can still make money and come through here. Yeah. And if it's a stand like this, you're going to get more than ten quarts the acre. Yeah. Just doing that. Yeah. The Supercharge Your Woods Field Day series wrapped up on the John Rinney Tree Farm near Two Harbors, Minnesota. With about 30 loggers, landowners, and foresters present, there was plenty of good discussion. The day began with a review of the Woodland Stewardship Plan for the property and a discussion of the landowner's objectives and management history. Much of the day was spent outside, again discussing the trade-offs in tree selection and ways to balance long-term financial and ecological benefits against short-term costs and other practical considerations. In summary, intermediate treatments have the potential to improve the growth, health, vigor, and productivity of Minnesota's woodlands. Treatments like pre-commercial thinnings early in the stand's life can guide the stand's development to favor those species and individual trees best suited to the site, to the landowner's objectives, and with the best potential for future value, however that value is defined. Some partial harvests, as many call them, provide opportunities for land management revenue in the short as well as long term while keeping most of the woodland intact.